Welcome to the Virtual Writing Tutor's Hypertext Narrative Creator. What's a hypertext narrative? It's an interactive story with multiple endings. Using hyperlinks, the reader can choose different paths through the story and explore how different choices lead to different outcomes. For the writer, creating a hypertext narrative is an opportunity to think about how choices play out in life. To create a hypertext narrative like this one, visit virtualwritingtutor.com and click on the Hypertext Narrative button on the toolbar below the text area. Give your hypertext narrative a title and click the New Story Submit button. Let's give Section 1 a title. Click the Edit button, type in your title and click Save. Write a text for Section 1 be sure to check your spelling and grammar and make any corrections before clicking Save. Add an image by entering the URL and description. A preview of the image will appear on the right hand side. Next, add choices. Click the plus choice button to add a choice. Then, Add sections for the choices to link to. Two choices in section 1 will require two additional sections. We can add free images using Wikimedia Commons. Copy and paste the URL and add the attribution in the description box. Save. Edit the choices, select the sections from the drop-down menu. The section titles will be added automatically. We can preview the hypertext narrative by clicking on the choices on the right-hand side. This will show us whether our choices are leading to the appropriate sections. Click on the check button to check the entire hypertext narrative for errors. A PDF of your feedback is created at the same time if you want to share the feedback with your teacher. If you lose your PDF, you can find it again from the main page by clicking on Feedback and the PDF tab. Click Statistics for an analysis of the vocabulary you have used, an account of the words, choices, sections, images, and target structures in your hypertext narrative. Click Publish to publish your story on virtualwritingtutor.com and use an iframe to include it on a blog or a web page. Alternatively, export your hypertext narrative as HTML code with jQuery, if you use a dynamic blog theme, use plain HTML.